Credit card balance cycling, also known as credit card churning, involves strategically using credit cards to manipulate credit utilization ratios and improve credit scores. While this practice may offer short-term benefits, it's essential to understand the risks and potential drawbacks involved. Here's how credit card balance cycling works and its potential impact on your credit score. How credit card balance cycling works. One, understanding credit utilization ratio. Your credit utilization ratio is the amount of credit that you're currently using compared to your total available credit. It's a crucial factor in determining your credit score as lenders view lower utilization ratios favorably. Two, utilizing credit limits. Credit card balance cycling involves strategically maximizing your credit card limits while keeping your reported balances low. To do this, you would make significant purchases or pay bills using your credit cards, pushing your balances close to the credit limits. Three, paying off balances before statement closing date. Instead of waiting for the statement due date to make payments, you would pay off the majority of your credit card balances before the statement closing date. This ensures that the lower balances are reported to the credit bureaus, resulting in lower reported utilization ratios. Four, repeating the cycle. After paying off balances before the statement closing date, you can continue cycling through your credit cards to maintain consistently low reported balances. By repeating the cycle each month, you can keep your utilization rates low, potentially boosting your credit score. How credit card balance cycling can help your credit score. One, lower reported utilization ratios. By consistently keeping reported balances low, credit card balance cycling can result in lower utilization ratios, which can positively impact your credit score. Lenders typically prefer to see utilization ratios below 30%, with lower ratios generally leading to higher credit scores. Two, establishing positive payment history. Making timely payments on your credit card balance is essential for maintaining a positive payment history, which is another crucial factor in determining your credit score. By paying off balances each month, you demonstrate responsible credit management to lenders and credit bureaus. Three, building credit history. Credit card balance cycling can also help you build a longer credit history over time. As you continue to use credit cards responsibly and maintain low utilization ratios, you establish a track record of positive credit behavior which can further strengthen your credit profile. Now, there are some important considerations and risks. One, potential for overspending. Credit card balance cycling requires disciplined financial management to avoid overspending and accumulating debt. It's essential to only charge what you can afford to pay off each month to avoid carrying balances and accruing interest charges. Two, impact on credit score. While credit card balance cycling can help improve your credit score in the short term, it's not a sustainable long-term strategy. Lenders may view frequent cycling of credit card balances as a sign of financial instability or risk, which could potentially impact your credit worthiness in the future. Three, credit inquiries and new accounts. Opening multiple credit cards to facilitate balance cycling may result in multiple hard inquiries on your credit report, which can temporarily lower your credit score. Additionally, frequent opening and closing of credit card accounts can impact your average account age, another factor considered in credit scoring models. In the end, credit card balance cycling involves strategically managing credit card balances to maintain low utilization ratios and improve credit scores. While it can offer short-term benefits, it's essential to approach the strategy with caution and discipline to avoid potential risks and long-term negative impacts on your credit profile. 